People have treated me differently because of the way that I look. A lot of people would stare at me. When I was younger, I felt like an outcast and like I didn't belong. I embraced what makes me unique and then I became an international model. I am who I am. To me, beauty is really just a state of mind and a state of being. When I was younger, I literally felt very alone and I had a feeling like I was the only person in the world that was born the way that I was born. I would always just go to my room and draw. I love to just be able to be in an entirely different, fantastical environment. I was born with a medical condition called ectodermal dysplasia. It affects all of my endocrine system, which includes my hair, my teeth, my skin, nails, and glands, as well as any soft tissue or cartilage. My vision has decreased greatly within the last 10 years. It affects my entire way of life. I do grow a little bit of hair, but definitely not enough for a whole head of hair. I grow little, like, little pieces, kind of like Tweety Bird. <laughs> I've had so many surgeries, it's incredibly hard to keep count of. The goal of it was always how to make Melanie look normal and behave and function normally. They were focusing on my various physical attributes and for me, these weren't exactly limitations. I felt a lot of pain, both physically and mentally. So when I was younger, I was really just looking for any avenue to kind of feel better in any kind of light, like the lightness of being. I ended up turning to drugs to self-medicate. It was one night, everything was just building up. In, in this moment of darkness, I made a little rag doll. I reminded myself of how much I love to create and that feeling of peace and like serenity I experienced while creating. It was that point on when I realized that I don't understand why my life is the way it is or why I was born the way that I was, but this is my reality and I just decided I would just focus on my artwork. It's very impossible to live in New York and not meet any creative people. A photographer actually reached out to me because they saw my drawings and they saw my self-portraits and they asked me to pose for them. I was very scared to put myself out there when I first started modeling. I had to kind of jumpstart all of this beauty and positivity. That looks great. It looks beautiful. Yay! When I model, I feel very free and for a very long time, it seemed like the ultimate epitome of power. I look like the first oh, lady. You do. <laughs> It really helped me embrace who I was, not just my inner core, but my physical being as well. I think it's really awesome and beautiful to be able to be an example and source of inspiration for other people, especially people that are different or anybody that's felt different. People like me. For many years, I was literally just going. I was just going from job to job, flight to flight, project to project. I had started to get extremely burnt out from traveling and working. A 
stretch my body is getting older, I definitely have to take more care in preserving my mental and physical health. On social media, it's definitely very hard because people kind of look at me as this person who has fully accepted herself and she believes she's beautiful and now we believe she's beautiful too. But there's just so many layers to being a human. I've learned that healing isn't linear uh, regarding anything and I still have moments where I struggle with who I am or my place. And a lot of that stuff isn't, you know, it's not all fun, positivity, sunshine, and rainbows. Some of it's like really heavy stuff. I actually use modeling and work as an escape from my problems. And you know, that's not very healthy. <laughs> I was so busy trying to make a career and maintaining that career, I lost myself. I finally decided that I needed a break. I started drawing and painting again as a way to regain my sense of self and identity. Like when I was a child creating and I was able to fully delve into a brand new world where I felt safe and I could kind of process through my emotions and also let them go. When I took a step back and really focused on my mental health and when I was able to come to a more positive place within my mind, my body kind of naturally followed. When I look back on my experiences and also just in knowing who I am as a person, I wouldn't change anything about it. I really love myself for who I am and all of the life experiences that brought me to where I am today.